So guys, in this next news story, three men, including a father and son, have been jailed over a plot to supply cocaine and cannabis worth £4 million. Ricky Lee, who's 31, Christopher Gresty, who's 56, and his son, Louis Gresty, who's 25, from Salford, even continued dealing drugs in Manchester, Liverpool and Coventry during the first COVID lockdown. Now, they've been jailed, thanks to evidence obtained from their Encro chat phones. Lee uses ill-gotten gains to pay for IVF treatment, holding a gender reveal party during lockdown in video seized by police. Lee is even captured counting a pile of cash saying, what do you reckon that is? Half a day's work. Their operation was smashed by Greater Manchester Police as part of Operation Venetic. The forces initiative to mine incriminating data hacked by law enforcement from EncroChat servers in northern France in April 2020. The encrypted devices were exclusively used by criminals, according to the police. Ricky Lee used EncroChat handles, scary gate and shocking style, to communicate with others and organise a wholesale acquisition and supply of cocaine and cannabis across Manchester, Liverpool and even Coventry, a quartered. His trusted associate, Christopher Gresty, kept drugs debt lists, scales and bags at his flat in Eccles, the hub of the dealing operation. Gresty's son Louis dealt cocaine and cannabis at street level, while the younger man's account took payments for drugs by bank transfer. Police executed search warrants at their home addresses in May 2021 and again in January 2022 and found evidence of a highly lucrative drug sales network, according to police. Despite police intervention, the Brazen Trio continued to supply a large customer base in Salford and Tiddley until they were finally arrested and remanded into custody in September 2022. When officers raided Lee's address in Swinton, bundles of cash totaling £25,000 were found lying around the house under a TV cabinet in a child's cot and in bedroom drawers. Lee told cops the cash was from his dog's business. Investigators found he used his dog breeding business as a front for his crime, especially during the first lockdown. At Christopher Gresty's flat in Eccles, Officers also found bundles of cash, almost amounting to £25,000, cocaine, scales, bags and handwritten debt lists. At Louis Gressy's house, police entered to find him flushing bags of cocaine down the toilet. During the trial, the court heard how the debt lists seized on May the 13th, 2021 showed that the author had not had a day off from supplying cocaine in 40 weeks from the date of the first police entry on July the 24th until the final entry on May the 13th, 2021. The author was said to be a cocaine dealer who had supplied over 5 kilos of the drug for about £343,000. In just nine weeks between March the 30th, 2020 and June the 10th, 2020, the gang moved around 43.5 kilos of coke and 11.5 kilos of cannabis with a street value of over £4 million in total. The hack of the EncroChat servers revealed Lee under the handle Scarygate, intended to use his dog breeding business as cover to continue dealing during the lockdown. During one exchange with the contact, Scarygate said, I'll have my dog in car, on way to do breeding, I breed bulldogs mate so I'll blag it. And the contact replied, just say collecting the dog because he was there for breeding. Lee replied, no mate, I'll go in dog van, got five cages in full of dog biscuit and stuff. Perfect reason to be out on road, said the contact. On April the 5th, 2020, Lee made another trip this time to Liverpool to collect 10 kilos of coke using his van as cover. He also planned to use visiting his child as an excuse if he was stopped by the police. The drugs were then taken to Christopher Gresty's flats for safekeeping whilst they were being redistributed. Investigators found Lee was making full use of his profits, investing money into his business, going on holidays, etc. And he also had a big massive gender reveal party at his home address during the lockdown. Lee and Gresty were also involved in others in a scam to rip off other dealers off by mixing their cocaine with other substances to dilute it. Christopher Gresty paid nearly £1,000 to purchase a hydraulic press to repress the cocaine back into blocks after it had been interfered with. The purchase of the press was traced to his credit card. So Lee from Swinton was jailed for 14 years after he admitted to conspiracy to supply cocaine Conspiracy to supply cannabis and conspiracy to launder money at Manchester Crown Court. Christopher Gresty of Eccles was sentenced to 11 years in prison and he admitted the same offences. Then Louis Gresty of Salford 
was jailed for three years after he admitted two counts of possession with intent to supply cocaine, money laundering and possession with intent to supply cannabis. After the hearing, Detective Constable Walk of the Salford Organised Crime Unit at Greater Manchester Police said the Police and Crown Prosecution Service continue to work through the volume of encroachment material presented to them in 2020 to ensure that anyone profiting from the sale of Class A drugs face justice. Lee and the Gresties enjoyed significant financial gain from their crimes and the fact that they also continue to offend after their initial arrest demonstrates that not only lengthy custodial sentences are suitable. We are grateful to the courts for recognising the seriousness of their offending while passing these jail sentences and hope that this will deter others from choosing this lifestyle. And guys, in this next news story, two people have been jailed for life after a man was stabbed to death in a fight at a petrol station. Mirko Naramchich was violently attacked after a day out drinking with friends. The altercation was sparked by an argument at the service station in Richmond between the two groups and it culminated in a fight that left three people with stab wounds. Police ascended the scene at around half 11 at night on March 17, 2022, but no victims could be found. Shortly afterwards, three men, including the 31-year-old Merkel, attended hospital with stab injuries. Despite the efforts of medical staff, he died in hospital and a post-mortem examination held at Kingston Mortuary gave his cause of death as a stab injury. An investigation was launched by detectives from the Met Specialist Crime Command and they quickly established that Leon Davis, who was 19, left the scene and drove to a woman's home. The woman, who was Eve Carter, who was 19, is all subsequently helped to dispose of his phone in the hope of distancing him from the attack. However, detectives were able to locate it before analysing its contents. Seven people were initially charged after detectives used CCTV and phone analysis to track their movements on the night of the stabbing. Justin Romano, who's 19 years old, and Davis were both jailed for life with a minimum term of 20 years, having been convicted of murder and two counts of wounding with intent. Eve Carter pleaded guilty to pervert in the course of justice and will be sentenced on a date still yet to be set. Detective Chief Inspector Jeff Grogan, the senior investigating officer, said our thoughts today remain with Mirko Naramchit's family and friends as they continue to struggle with this tragic loss. Mirko had spent the day drinking and joined the company of his friends and his night ended with him being violently attacked and ultimately losing his life. This case once again highlights what can happen when people go out armed with knives without thinking about the consequences. Just want to say, rest in peace Mirko and my condolences go out to your family. So guys, there's a few news stories coming out of the streets of the UK. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.